Welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the 1.8 update for Imperium Galactic Survival, which was released in June 2022, if you're watching this in the future. In the last part, we were working our way down through the Alarium, and we worked our way through to the point where we were going down the elevator shaft, and we were about to enter the sub-levels. And if you look on the right-hand side, we've got to find the walk control. And so I would say we're, we're roughly about halfway through the the actual uh, mission now the reason we're starting in this corner is i want to go up here and show you some rooms here you've got a room in here that i've already looted yeah but if you go through up here on the left hand side you've got doors here but they're, they're, well, it's all blocked though you could technically you could break your way through but there's a little entrance here and um, if it's so we get screaming abdabs in here and then just at the back here we've got ourselves a vault i think we're still in range of the pioneer we'll just shove everything directly into the loot box since the end of the last video i have tidied up the loot that we collected i think oh no well we'll take that as well i'm pretty sure that going through the <laughs> The various rooms are here uh, we will have missed some bits and pieces because this is such a big POI and trying to keep track of what's going on is quite uh, interesting is probably the polite way of saying it um, raw food just shut that in there now one thing I will say is if you're standing around on this floor here you will encounter random creatures being spawned also, since when we came in, the the actual this room is opened up. I've already looted through here, connecting through. So it shows that um, this with this POI, you've always got to keep an eye on your back because you never know what's going to come through. And I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't the more bug uglies in here waiting to make life difficult for us. Now what we're going to do in this part is we've got to find the warp control and to do that we've got to go through this door here and you can see there's already a load of um, nasties waiting to get us Oops And still your booger. Right now, before we go, what we've got to do is get the health back up again because there's a little bit of a nasty surprise. Oops. Apologies if I'm not 100%. I'm actually recording this at just after half past three in the morning at the moment on one of our heat wave red warning days i think it's monday monday morning and the temperature in my recording room is already well over 30 degrees because of the heat from the computer now what you've got to now something what you've got to do now is to get in here and we're going to walk in backwards because what can happen is when you throw this switch here you get these guys to show up this is the reason why I healed up <laughs> yeah it's a little bit of an unpleasant surprise so, so when you go through and throw that switch get ready for the attack from the rear of course these are the legacy infected and they don't mess about I don't think there's anything else we can loot through here um, I can't remember what's in this room actually to be honest um, so this this is the warp cord the door the door to the control room I don't think the 
the screaming abdabs can get through. Yep, we've got them. You can see we're actually picking up radiation as well now. There's going to be another joyous hazard. Um, now, I don't think we can get... Wow. Okay. Um, who's firing at us? Not off to a very good start here, am I? I don't think this terminal actually does anything. I think what we got to do is go round here. Um, oh, I remember this. Where? Um, we we need to go through the warp core and turbine rooms down the lower. To the lower freight date and find the turbine le room lever and unlock the doors. Okay. I don't, I don't think this is the one there. I think we've got to go through here. Fuck. Ah, what the? Lever is damaged. There is no another lever on the other side of the warp core. That's very antisocial. <laughs> right, we can't stay here too long. <sighs> what we got to do now is, um, I think I'm gonna use this because I think we've got to go round here, up here, through here. radiation we've got 1.4 at the moment so we're gonna we we'll need to keep make sure we've got the radiation section I think, I think we get a robot up there <laughs> apologies for Can't hang around here too long. I'm not going to bother looting the robots. Um, we need to get through here. We're being cooked. Oops. Right, let me just get into here. We need to drink water, get to recover. <laughs> panic, 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 panic. Uh, that's in the wrong place, but tough luck. Well, I think the door is now open here. We've got to enter the turbine room with that. Oh. Right, we're going to... Get the health back up again. Sorry about this, guys. Reaction times are a little bit down at the moment. But I want to get this done. I know some of you probably won't be interested in this, but there's hints that the there will be an update for No Man's Sky this week. And also, I've got a feeling that the new the new update for Oh, I'm talking and not that up completing it don't talk <laughs> gotcha yeah as I was saying I've got a feeling that the new update for um, workers and resources may be dropped into the te te test branch in the next week as well 
don't think these guys can actually get through the door, but... Concentrate, concentrate. This way, not looking forward to the next couple of days. Um, uh, it's been pretty hot, hot, hot enough and unpleasant enough as it is over the last couple of days. And uh, oops, got him. Yeah, it's been uh, really unpleasant the last couple of days. We've got more to come. Okay. Um, well the next couple of days anyway so uh, there's a possibility that this may be the last video for uh, a couple of days but we'll see how it goes or either that or the video will be a bit shorter than normal oh you've got to be kidding me each minute Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Oh. I think I would like to possibly clear that radiation if I've got, got it. I know I don't really need to do it, but uh, I think it would be... Oh, it's not building supplies, it's general supplies. I think, I think it would be advantageous to do that. Right. Um, now we've got to go through this room here, which can be, you can all I'm just going to. So, when you get to this area, the general problem can be. at random here aren't I? I'm not concentrate and right, now we've got the door open um, was a creature be killed up there but he seems to have disappeared I'm not, I'm not too sure why I'm connected Now, this is quite an important area because if you flip that switch there, that blows up. And what that does is you can see we've now got access to the Pioneer. And this is always a good position to check how's the state of my armor, 329. I think it's good to go just for the moment. And again, we'll just uh, offset some of this. If I come and look out the hangar here, you'll see this is the reason why I parked the Pioneer down there. So that we get that access. In fact, what we could do is... Oops. I know we're out in the cold, but what we can do is just get a bit... Peaky. Yeah. fly back up very quickly and that gives us a bit of a health boost anyway whoops I'm out it's okay yes thinking there's somebody behind me Um, probably in this close proximity the shotgun might be a little bit better. Pretty sure I thought there was two of them. Hello guys. Uh, bye. Get ourselves a kill zone here. Oops. Ah. 
you're really sneaky, you can get them to go out in space. Plus, we're also getting a little bit of support from the uh, the pioneer. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, there are pluses and minuses for using the jetpack. Oops. Um, with him. Uh, I think we can get that guy. Right. Where we got to go now is we have to use the jetpack. We'll be back in a lot. Bug uglies. Go to the main cargo area. Now, when this says you can go to the main cargo area, I think what we need to do, I think this is the point, I don't, if you watch the beginning of the last video, I kind of alluded to the, that you've got to go back into places to, to open up the door, I think it's the door that's in front of us. Um, get, back, get back to about here. We can actually fly in and loot those bug -ups. And see how many of them. There's also a a. Uh, Sentry gun just around that corner as well. Um, <laughs> um, I think we can flip back into there. Apologies for kind of spinning around a little bit, but we've got to get Mr. Buck Ugly. It's just up in there. <laughs> He's gone in there. Come back out again. Wait. Bit. We just got to get rid of the. I just saw something flash up. This here, that's inconvenient. The main access to the core is blocked. We need to purge the container, but the console is in the main frame maintenance area on level three. Find the maintenance access door. Now that is the door that's behind the ramp, I'm pretty sure. But we're just going to uh, loot these guys. I don't think we're going to be running short of meat in the near future. And again, we're just going to offload. But we're going to shoot a bandage and offload this stuff into raw food. Now, there's some passageways. Oops. Hello. Here we go again. Oops. Got a little Oki Fanoki running around. He's a news. reload around and get the next pile of meat 
while I'm just doing this. I did get a comment, someone asked whether it was possible to take over this DB and actually fly it. Unfortunately, no. Oh yeah, we've got Epic Assault Rifle. Um, we'll see. 110. And it uses projectile rounds, so... Um, we've got some more gold, we've got some... <laughs> Well, that gives me the full set of projectile weapons, except the, I think this is the way that takes us back up to here. Brings us out into this room here. Here, but there's also another way that you can go. Anyway, just, and then what we got to do is reorientate myself and we've got to go all the way back through here and we got to go up the lift shaft here again be vigilant because the um the creatures will respawn here so um be aware of that we should be able to Ah, uh, here we are. This is where we got to get to. Just push up here. Whisper, it's impossible to ever succeed in what you're going to do. Yes, I know. Um, we'll just dump this off uh, before we go into the next phase. We need a health kit. Um, we're a bit low on oxygen. Huh? I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very quickly into the up up the oxygen because I'm pretty sure some of the next parts are going to be in the um, um, in without atmosphere so we're just gonna eat some food as well and then we're just gonna flip them very quickly back into here and jet pack off and if we come down round behind here, this door is now open. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure we've got we're fully loaded because I say this is the I think if anyone doing this POI for the first time, this is the most um, frustrating element because I remember the first time when I um, did this POI. Spent ages wandering around trying to find this door. Yeah, where are you? It's got to be bug ugly. Thank goodness. Oh, here we go. I don't think we can. I can't remember which way we've got to go. Where I'm going to get lost. <laughs> oh. Right. The hitboxes on those are just so small. Now, I'm sure there was... Right, we've done this area here. I think that's where we've got to go, it's the core pump. But we're going to check the rest of the floor first, just for loot and other bits and pieces. I, um, what we got in here? I think we've been here, haven't we? Safe mode, primary key, press any key. Hazardous, uh, okay. Log out. <laughs> 
I don't I have absolutely no idea what that does. Uh, I think that might actually unlock doors. I don't blast doors yeah can't open just yet. I think that opens the door at the other end. So we've come all the way around here. So we've definitely got the loot box here. We'll just that. I mean, there are loot boxes hidden in the walls if you notice them. Got a feeling that will. Gotcha. Anything else in here? No. Okay. <laughs> I think that now opens the. The big shutter down the bottom and um, we I can't I don't think we can uh, where's the way out of here here's the way out I just want to check those blast doors we, we did go into a room with blast doors where did that oh uh, maybe wandering around here isn't such a good idea It's here, the biohazard containment staff here lives in forced quarantine. Okay. Oh, we've come back into here. Now we could go all the way through. Here we go. This is what I mean by the fact that you get respawns. But what you can do, there is the quick way of getting to the thing which is you go down here and you're going to risk exposure to cold you go down round and you fly into here oh and we got here and we got take these guys and then we'll just offload all this stuff again oh. um, hot beverage um, probably didn't quite need that uh, let me just pull that uh, drop all this stuff into the raw food and uh, put that in the food and meds am I off for ammunition yeah we're we're good I mean, technically now we are on the downhill slope with respect to this POI. Um, because we're just going to go in here, but it's still got a few more unpleasant surprises. If I look around that corner, uh, there's nothing around here. The area ahead of us seems to be rebuilt. Hopefully the cargo hatch access is still there. Oh, you must be kidding me. He was firing at me. Oh, yeah. Annoying retrobates. I think we're still okay for gravity here. <laughs> oh. Since we're getting little bits of pentaxid from this guy, we've lost this one. That's okay. Um a whisper now there is a loot box in the roof up along here somewhere i'm pretty sure it is um there it is um well i've actually been able to pick up the xeno blocks <laughs> um there should be uh, we've got to go through the wall along here somewhere there but i think there's a switch 
on this side here and get ready for the bug uglies to come pouring out again that instant spawn in this next section we're going to be flying around because I don't think there's any gravity in here and okay. also there's piles of loot boxes here <laughs> they were loot everything as we go Probably the best weapon for this area is the shotgun. We're going to be kind of in fighting in close proximity. If I remember correctly, there's a bug in here as well. Oops. Maybe we should need to do, we need to do the concentrate on the fighting. Um. I think we. Go up through here. The like flying around here. Tracking constant. Look for the damage vents. The damage vent is up around here. In here somewhere. Um, can't see that guy, but he's not going to be able to follow us anyway. So, uh, oops. I think the damage vent is around here. There he is. Um, if we can knock him off. Wait. Stop running. That uh, ramped. Goodness for the we've got to fight our way up here yet yeah. I think we've got to go through I mean it is a bit ah. right we might have to Oh, hello. <laughs> Get rid of you. There's the bug ugly user. It, the exit is in this room somewhere and if I remember correctly it's quite high up let me just fly around let me just orientate um, it could even be in the roof itself it's so um This search for possible exits, yes, I know. It's finding it is the problem game. What I'll do is I'm just going to kind of loop around and pick up the loot, and it might actually point me in the direction of where I've got to go. So we're just going to pick up the loot in here. Nothing particularly special. A tunnel here. Got a feeling it's down this way. You've got to go through this tunnel. It's right in, hidden in the corner behind this um, container here. Paste this. We're going to fly along the tunnel, search for 
Particle density is dropping. Be careful. Okay. So we are now in room. Again, I think. Say so this is gonna be a little bit confusing. Um, everything is kind of upside down. And here we are. And then what you got to do is go into this room. Now. There used to be a turret down the bottom there, but it looks like it's been removed. But there is a vault loot box up here. Oh. Um, uh, let me just see. Building supplies. We'll, we'll take all the Xeno blocks. We don't, I'm not sure I'm really going to need them because, truthfully, we're going to get here. Now, if we didn't have gravity, gravity, we're going to have to um, kind of jump up and down these areas here. Um, now, there is a... I think there's a door here. Say, so if you're not very good like me with maneuvering, uh, this can be uh, a little bit fun. Also, I'll be completely honest, this section doesn't do that much for my motion thickness. <laughs> uh, it's Kind of going up and down all these different tunnels and I think that's a bit of oxygen. I just get whacked. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, do a... Right, there's a guy down the end there. Just orientate. Oh, okay, but no key. It's not over yet. I think there's another one. Put some shots in for luck. There's one just there. Up. I think that's this room done. Take the shotgun shells. And we're just going to dump off the uh, fresh food. Again, that into the. Uh, can't put it in the loot box. Put this in trade items. Right, now we go up. Look, this is what I was looking for when we were back in the Akaga room. I've obviously missed out this whole section here. And the radiation is still good. Um, actually, I think we got a fair amount of these, I think. Yeah, I think we're here, but... A little bit of interference. Press F to talk. Authorization code accepted. Listing available logs. Log St. John, Chief Engineer, play. Um, we'll, we'll go through the logs because this has been a long mission. Mission day 500, log entry 197. 500 days searching for habitable worlds. 500 days without success. We found a lot of resources, sure, but captain said we cannot deviate from our mission the mining crews will take it easy while we head to the next star at least we found something interesting today a burnt out world here a red dwarf captain has allowed me to join the expedition this is this will feel like a holiday after 499 days staring at the sensor logs and cataloging broken doors i'm quite excited um we'll play another one mission day 501 I'm adding this to the ship's log, but so no one will complain if Hangar B needs to be overhauled. The science guys could not leave this uh, thing on the planet since we need to hurry to the next um, star. It simply brought us it aboard the ship. 
there's enough room the captain said but sure but i'm the one who will need to explain the damages scratches and strange mounted traces in the hangar if it was me we'd have left it there where it was um okay we're just going to skip the reports now yeah their legacy please help shut system close communication commander i shall i send a report of our investigations to the talent contract please do SAASP. Commander, incoming transmission. That was quick. Commander, we are glad you are alive, but we are afraid things are even worse than we feared, it seems. The legacy has risen again in distant place, and the poor people of Illyrium have accidentally brought it back into this system. We will contact our allies and talk about the next steps. May the voices of the past protect you, my friend. Uh, that's right, we're have a bad feeling about this no time to explain then that the detail at the moment my friend everything you need to know for now the legacy invaded the sea of stars in the distant past it was about defeated after a war that had most of the inhabited worlds failing to become besides silence and uh, the legacy is not about conquering territory like the xerox or creole it's pure destruction of some kind okay more about that at a later time i just got a message from my organization for you now forwarding we will speak later may the voices of the past protect you my friend same to you commander ancient kessel forwarded a message from an unknown source the message is, deco is decoded already show me the message dear friend we could not help but notice your dedicated support for the idea of defending the galaxy liberate it from the forces of oppression in in case you want to, you want to shift your commitment to the next level, we invite to meet you, us in any of the civilian way stations in this system. Gas giant moon orbits. Your suit AI will be able to decode the exact meeting coordinates as soon as you approach one of the stations. Sincerely, Section Glad. Let's hope these guys can help us contact the UCH fleet. And that is the end of the upset. Uh, Commander the Almerian is cleaned and secure. Agent Kessel sent a message to his organization. We will take care of the bit of vessel. We will move ahead to meet at section 32 on the civil way station. Now that kind of gives me a clue thing, but I'm sure that there, there's the core. I don't know if we can destroy it. Um, I'm going to give it a go. What's the, well, it looks like it's damaged. So let's just, I would certainly I want to take this place over yeah look at that <laughs> I think there should also be a loot box in here somewhere wow <laughs> um I'm sure there was a loot box up here as well well we can soon find out um let me just uh go to building supplies Right, we've got another poster and we've got a seal of credibility with the Polaris. I think I'm just going to take this area apart. Um, I'll just salvage for the moment. Oh, that's a fizz. fizz. I'm sure there was a. Let's just clear this out a bit so I can fly around, I think. Getting nice supply of Xeno stuff in here. I'm absolutely certain that there was a loot box. Oh, there it is. I knew it was here somewhere. Plasma Riper Epic, uh, Large Optronics Bridge, yes, were. Um, Pioneer. Um, certainly put that in there. Oops, that's the wrong one. Um, general supplies for the moment. So that gives us uh, another. So we've now got an epic plasma rifle and an, an epic EM rifle. Now, um, I think what we're going to do is try and just go straight. There we are. <laughs> Come out there. We've just got to get into the Pioneer really quickly. Now the next thing is going to be is to try and call this, but I'm going to do this first. We get in here. Somebody actually suggested coming in backwards into the hangar, which is probably a pretty good idea actually. 
what we're gonna do is I got I got my EVA boost. What did I, oh, what on earth did I do with that? Um okay. Um let me just find the EVA boost and guys and then I'll be right back. So because what I want to do to finish this video is just loot is call the in Malirium just to see what the CPU states are. So we're just going to come in there, general supplies. I think I forgot that I took the EVA boost off up here, didn't I? Should we should, EVA boost should be in here? Yeah, there it is. Uh, we don't need a temperature regulator, so we'll just put that on there. And we'll just come out here. And we, I've, I've got a core somewhere. Um, I'm sure I had a core. Yeah, I seem to have used up all my cores. I'm just going to very quickly knock up uh, a core. I mean, it doesn't make that much difference. So I'm just going to make a core and I'll be right back. So we've got the core and you know, again, we're just going to up, drop down. See, back because there's no core in here now, the temperature is very low. Um, I'm going to turn, just turn the power off because I'm really surprised that the um, the actual uh, what we call it didn't blow up the uh, the generators or maybe they've already blown up um, it doesn't say that we don't have generators we've got there's only two large generators in here but you can see the fact that the this hasn't been adapted for the um, the CPU that we can't really use it you know, what we can do is just pull out the oxygen we got 5340 I think somebody also posted a comment about um, serving oxygen and I have to admit that in recent uh, parts I've got very lazy with respect to oxygen because it's once you've got the ability to mine water there we are. Um, we've got 142 oxygen now. Anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. Obviously, we've got quite a big um, uh, scrapping process here to do, which is going to take a little bit of time because, and I do want to scrap this um, out, but because we, I certainly want the. There's a couple of really big thrusters. Uh, can't remember they're up here somewhere normally you can see them when because they're powered on but anyway there's a couple of big thrusters up here which I certainly want to pull off and also out uh, lots of other loot because what I wouldn't mind is to get enough loot one to extend the pioneer because I think we're going to need to start thinking about making this into our our carrier ship and um, of course we do need more hangar space which I can put in and more importantly I think it's time to start thinking about a proper combat CV because it won't be long before we start getting into even more trouble anyway guys this is where I'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming